okay. I was gonna say, I'm like, you can work, you can smash the cannonball with the ball and chain. Holy crap. No, 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 not with the ball and chain, with the blocks that I just pushed. Oh, oh, okay, I gotcha. I'm not sure that my explanation is correct, but I think that's what happened. Okay, oh yeah, that's right, because you shot the cannon and, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. So that right there is a handy shortcut. And I don't have a cannonball, but I am preparing the cannon anyway. This thing, the thing is that, oh, of course the Chilfus is, oh, maybe they don't notice me. This freezer has been there the whole time, and it stops you from climbing the northeast ladder. You have to kill it. Did yeah, I say Chilfos? I meant freezer. climbing the ladder and using your ball and chain, because I've tried it before, and you just can't do it in time before getting frozen like a million times. <laughs> and your ball and chain doesn't quite reach that far. I was gonna say, and obviously you tried to do that too. <laughs> no, I, I think I maybe I was just demonstrating. I would have had I would have to have the commentary there to know. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes when I do something that looks dumb, I'm demonstrating, but yeah, often I'm yeah, just I being sense. a jerk. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I'm the live. You uh, got rid of the live commentary for this, so. I guess that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like I said, all other things equal, I prefer live commentary, but all other things will not were not equal here. Yeah, I definitely prefer live over post, but post has its advantages as well. Mm -hmm. Now, if we could have conference calls screen sharing, I, I would probably do less post commentary. Uh, I know that there's a way, but it's kind of tricky. Especially for FF8, the thing is, there's no there's no choice for that because I want to put the voice acting in. Exactly. But if we could do the conference call screen sharing, then we could have the voice acting just at the same time as the gameplay. Exactly. So with the blocks out of the way, the cannonball now goes all the way over there. Oh, by the way, Lightning, I should probably tell you, uh, I'm planning to have, like, between Christmas and New Year's, I'm hoping that there will be a lot of voice acting. Like, I'm hoping that we'll get a lot of that done. Okay, that's okay. Perhaps even a majority. Okay. Um, I know, um, during the 27th through the, uh, 29th, I'll, um, be helping out with, um, Stream for a Dream, uh, our charity thing, but, um, I should be able to voice act as well. As long as it's not during the six hours, I um, will be streaming for that. And when will that be? Um, I will let you know that after the session, because I have to pull up Microsoft Word and get out my schedule. Okay. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah, I just want to do a lot of it while people are still on break. Okay. Makes sense. We if got... anything does change in schedule, I'll let you know, so... Yeah, where we got was probably around the midpoint of disc one. And I'm actually, in my gameplay, I've, I'm getting kind of close to that point. Okay. So. I mean, I could record the gameplay before the voice acting. There's no reason why it has to be either order. And that is exactly why you cannot take out the freezer. Yes. Let's TV frozen. <laughs> And I almost forgot something very important. You need to go in that door. Uh, oh, a room right. full of chilfos is my favorite. This was an interesting room for me. <sighs> I believe they don't all fall at the same time. No, they don't. Do they? Oh, wait, no, they do. Oh. No, that's that's not all of them. Oh, okay, okay, that's only two of them. At this point, I think I figured out about the ball and chain shield. <laughs> oh man, crap! And of course, another one's behind me. No, that wasn't that it didn't work. Is that someone attacked from another direction? Oh, I see. I see. Oh yeah, there's one on the side. Okay. Jeez, they're everywhere. Yep. Okay, I don't know how that one hit. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, no more services here. Q's gone. 
the, it's called the Ice Chapel on the, at least the guide calls it that, the guide I have. Chilfos oh. Ice Chapel. Uh, this will be interesting. Yeah, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> When I was in high school for our uh, for my voice recital as a senior, I picked the song "Be Prepared" just because I knew that nobody would be expecting it from me. Oh, I love that song. Also, it's perfectly within my vocal range, so that helps. Yeah, that's one of my favorite songs from that movie. Because it's one of my four more uh, favorite Disney movies. And, okay, this time Yetta was actually right. It's about time. A key. This does not look like a... You know what, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call those keys from now on the big boss keys. That way, that way I'll make everyone either happy or, or not happy. <laughs> Don't call it a key, <laughs> That'd be interesting. Fuse the boss key with the master sword, and that's the keyblade was born. <laughs> anyway, now got the, <laughs> Anyway, that's the equivalent of the big key slash boss key for this dungeon. Oh, and I know what's coming up next. She must be feeling better. Well, look at you out on your feet. Although I You're think snuggy. I think at this point I may have I may have pointed out. Wait a minute, how did you climb the ladder? You must have had to take your arms out sometime. <laughs> but you never actually see her arms. Or with her teeth? I don't know. Possibly. Oh, no, that'd be really, really... And like, apparently she can... So teleport. Because she was nowhere near me when I opened that door. Waddle, 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 waddle. <laughs> like a duck. Egg form. <laughs> <laughs> Note all the furniture in this room. So much furniture to smash with the ball and chain. Destruction. Ah, <laughs> uh, this part. <laughs> it's like the music is so like sweet and innocent that you know something's not right. Possibly happen. <laughs> no, thank yeah, you. there doesn't oh, seem yeah, to be I any boss hear. in here. Uh, yeah? <laughs> you okay, buddy? <laughs> no, she's the thing. Ah! <laughs> I hated that part when I first played this. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, another reason why, why I'm glad we're doing those commentaries is because I timed my freak out wrong. Okay, so this is Blizzetta. Yes, you have to fight. Oh yeah, the reason why I said to note all the furniture is because it's all gone now, <laughs> and I didn't even take out the ball and chain. And I love the boss music here. Yes. Maybe not on this phase, but later on in the fight, I love this. And for some reason, I was thinking that my ball and chain could stop that thing from hitting me. I don't know why. Yet it gets smaller with each hit, fortunately. I believe I've heard somewhere that, um, I think Z told me that, um, Morpho was the biggest boss in the seventh block, and this definitely has to be up there. This is one of two enemies that you, one of two bosses that you can kill without using your sword. Really? Actually, uh, Wait, I don't... in this game, or? Yes, in this game. Oh, okay, I thought you just meant, like, in Zelda history. No, no. Okay. Because usually it's like you have to stun it with something else and then actually do damage with your sword. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there are any other bosses in Zelda games besides this one where you can't, where you don't need to use your sword, or more accurately, you can't use your sword. Right. The sword has absolutely no use here. All you need is the ball and chain. 
Yeah, I'm trying to remember if there's any other Zelda game bosses where that that holds true. Besides, besides um, in Twilight Princess, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, in Volvagia, you can just kill with a hammer. Oh, yeah, Volvagia and a hammer. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But you can also use your sword, too, so... I'm trying to think of bosses, though, where, you know, it's like you cannot use your sword. Okay, she has bare feet. Her feet must be very cold. Yeah. Here comes an amazing boss track. Yes. Anyway, the thing that she's in, the guide calls it a palanquin. P A L A N Q U I N. I had never seen that word before. Anyway, you want to count the big ice things. When you count to ten, smash. All you need to do is smash one of them. And then just get out of the way. Try to smash her, but I missed. Fortunately, I got another one of the spikes. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there'll be seven. Yes, and of course, the more you get, the easier it is to hit her. And yet, I somehow fail again. <laughs> so, you need to the the fact that you can see like the ice surface is reflective is very useful here. Yeah because you can yeah, see what's about to smash you, and where. There's actually a few bosses in Zelda that I can think of where the reflection is really nice to have. Uh, another one I'm thinking of is um, the second phase of Puppet Ganon in Wind Waker, when he takes on a spider form. You can oh, see because... He's going to drop oh, because the room's flooded, that's water. right. That's free. So, once you hit her, then the number of spikes resets to 10. Yeah, all you really need to do is smash one. Uh, and I think I get... Yeah, this time I couldn't make it out. And you smash one of the ice things with your body. Yes, and I, I wondered why there were only seven this time. It's like, wait, I only got two. Oh, that's right. <laughs> one of them I just crashed through it. And that's why, that's why I was slow to get out my ball and chain, because I wasn't expecting there to be only seven. And even though there's a huge hole there, I still don't avoid getting hit. <laughs> I think it's down to five by this time. Yeah, most definitely. Like, okay, no way I'm not gonna hit her this time. Except that I don't hit her. Oh wait, no, that, no, never mind, that wasn't the right time. I hmm, so it was down to four before I hit her that time. Yes, because... Because she's down to her last hit, I believe. Yes. So it plays you the boss is now vulnerable music. I pointed that out in the live commentary. And I get boxed in again. Oh, hey! <laughs> but that actually worked out well. I was gonna say, that really worked in your favor. <laughs> And exorcism! Sorry, Yetta, we invaded your house and, and killed your wife. Sorry. Except she's not really dead, fortunately. Yeah, we don't want to kill her. It was not her fault. And of course, the piece shrinks when it approaches Link. Which, for some reason. <laughs> So, I'm not gonna guess why you collect these mirrors, I'm just assuming Link wants to look at himself. Uh, <laughs> actually, there is a portal between this realm and the Twilight Realm, or there was one, but it was in the form of this mirror. Uh, oh, we so, but Don had to go smash up the mirror. Oh, okay. Yeah, tricky, tricky, wasn't it? Hello, floating heart. <laughs> I'm liking... I does... Do you always get a heart in every boss in every game? Uh, I don't think always. Whoa, oh, smash. If 
Yeah, in fact, they're a lot more generous with the hearts and like mm -hmm. fight, while fighting bosses in this game mm -hmm. than wow. other self is. Oh, I see. So Yellow actually doesn't have any idea what happened. He's just guessing. Unless he just unless he heard the rockets in. That's yeah. what must have happened. Um, I was gonna say he could have been watching through a window. <laughs> why why would he watch his wife get beat up? I don't know. <laughs> How could he climb the ladder for that matter? His arms are probably too big. But Perhaps then, he was strong enough and just jumped. Or maybe he could just grab onto the ledge. After all, bumbles bones. Okay, talk about gender dimorphism. There's like a very extreme example of it. Gender dimorphism being when genders are different sizes within a species. Oh. Um, best hard container ever. Yes. Of course, there are all more hearts than you would ever be able to use there. True. But it's always fun to collect them anyway. Okay, so I, I I just know I just realized you know how Nintendo Capri San always points out that the heart container is bigger than Link's face. Yeah. The pieces of heart too are also, but he holds them down lower so that they don't cover his face. Oh yeah. I think that's what what happens. So I was just making sure. I was no, I was trying to look at the map to make sure I hadn't missed anything, and for some reason the dungeon map wouldn't come up. So I'm like, okay, oh well, I'll just you know, I'll just say that I got all the chests because I think I really did. Alright. So we are approaching the end of the video now. This is Thinker Twenty One Twelve, along with Carlos and I, and Carlos and I. Yeah, I forgot to introduce him when he came in. Anyway, over and out. Bye. Bye. -bye.